Hello viewers, today we are going to learn adding fractions with different or unlike denominators. Different denominators are also called unlike denominators. So this is a very requested video and, uh, and I will be telling you two examples of this so that it can be understood easily. So let's get started. Suppose we have two fractions. 4 over 6 and we need to add this with another fraction which is 5 over 12. So here the denominators are not equal, they are different, they are unlike. Here the denominators are 6 and 12. So first of all we will take the LCM of the denominators. To find the LCM you can check out my other video. And um, here we are doing the LCM. Quick, we will do it quickly. So it will be 2 times 3, 2 times 6 and 3 times 1 and 2 and 2. So the LCM is 2 times 2 times 3 which is equal to 12. So LCM is 12. Now what we will do is what why we are finding a common denominator so that we can write it as equivalent fractions so 4 over 6 will if we will make the denominator of 4 over 6 as 12 so what we will do we will write common denominator which is 12 let me write the question again and then it will be easy to understood so 4 over 6 plus 5 over 12 here the LCM is 12, so we'll write the common denominator as 12. So that's why I have made a big line here. Now we'll find out how many times is equal to 12. So, um, now we'll um, find out, we'll divide this 12 by the denominator of first fraction. So first fraction is 4 over 6 and its denominator is 6. So 6 divided by 12 is 2. I'm right. I'm going to write the steps on this side. Number one, find first we need to find the LCM here. Find LCM, which is the common denominator. Number two, divide LCM by the first denominator, denominator one. So whatever we are getting, suppose we are getting A1, we will multiply this A1 by the numerator of the first. So here we are getting, here I am explaining the steps here. So 12 divided by 6 which we get 2. So this 2 we will multiply it by the numerator of first fraction which is 4. So our answer is 4 here, 8. So we will write 8 here. Similarly, we will follow the third step which is divide LCM by the denominator of the second fraction and whatever number we are getting, we will multiply it by the numerator of the second fraction. So here 12 over 12 which is equal to 1 and then this one we will multiply by the numerator, second numerator which is 5. So we will get 5 here. So we will write 5 here. So this will be 13 over 12. So this is our solution. This is our answer is 13 over 12. When we add 4 over 6 and 5 over 12, we will get 13 over 12. Now, let's take another example. Example number 2. Here, we will take um, quantity as 5 over 12 plus 7 over 9. So, first step is to find the LCM of 5, 12 and 9. So, LCM is... I'll do the LCM part here or it will be easy if I'll do it here. Here 12 and 9 so this is 3, 4, 3, 3, 4, 1 and 2 and 2. 
so LCM is 4 times 9 which is 36 so LCM is 36 now we'll write the question again which is 5 over 12 and 7 over 9 and then we'll write the common denominator which is the LCM this is 36 now 12 divide 36 divided by 12 which is I'll do the steps here again first find LCM second divide 36 over 12 which is equal to 3 times numerator which is 5 here so this is 3 times 5 is 15 second one we'll divide 36 over 9 which we get 4 and then multiply it to the numerator so this is 4 times 7 is 28 so now we'll add 15 and 28 is 43 over 36 so our answer which we cannot reduce this further so our answer is 43 over 36 if we need to write it in terms of mixed fraction then it will be 1 and this will be 7 over 36 this is a mixed number so this way in this way we can find the uh, we can add the two fractions with different denominators what we need to do the steps are first need we need to find the LCM of the two denominators and then when we get the LCM that is the common denominator we'll divide the LCM by the first denominator denominator of first fraction and then whatever we are getting we'll multiply it by the numerator of the first fraction similarly we'll repeat the process with the second denominator we'll divide it LCM with the second denominator and the whatever quantity we are getting we'll multiply it by the numerator second numerator and then we'll write it we'll write it here under second in, um, fraction and then we'll add the two fraction and then we'll get the result so thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel and like my video